pump-up music, as they like to call it, helps athletes get in the zone before a big game. Having some songs I like to listen to to just get you in the mood, and then once you, once you start feeling your heart beat, and then you get to get a little bit nervous, that's when I just use it for that. Um, once you feel that, you know you're ready to play. But it's not just because of the music. It's because of the amygdala, the part of the brain that stores emotional memories. When the amygdala is active, it increases our ability to consolidate memories, which means we remember things more strongly. And that's why when we have a really emotional song that maybe before that big game or at your wedding or something like that, and you hear that song, you're sort of triggered emotionally in your brain, multiple centers are involved in saying, hey, this is a really important event and I have a strong memory of that. And it's because um, that music was able to sort of engage this area that's really important for making those long-lasting memories. Those long-lasting memories could be a game-changing play you made or a championship that was won. But when those emotions resurface, an athlete switches into a whole different gear. For one national champion, music is used as a relaxation tool. I listen to a bunch of different music. I mean, country, rock, you know, rap. Um, like relaxing throughout the whole tournament. I'll just put it in and lay down and sleep and make sure I get my rest. But how is the connection of music in the brain observed? One of them is we do functional MRI scans, um, which allow um, typical individuals, like I could go in or anyone could go in, and during MRI scanning, um, we're looking at changes in blood flow to different parts of the brain. And while that's going on, we have headphones um, on the participant, and they're listening to different types of melodies. And they're novels. So they've never heard these melodies before. They're just kind of, you know, on the fly, um, little tunes that we had a, a concert pianist record. Amazingly, hearing a memorable song and the reaction of the brain only takes a few seconds. So our brains are really good at detecting what we call familiar melodies or familiar songs um, in this case. So we don't need words, as you know, if you're listening to the radio, you hear first, you know, a few, few neat, uh, beats and you're, you're hooked. So you already have those emotions. Whether you are a young athlete just beginning or an experienced athlete, when it comes to preparation, that one song can make all the difference. And for Zahid Valencia, that song is... Can't Stop by the Red Hot Chili Peppers. That song has been a part of a back-to-back -back national championship run and a number one preseason ranking this year. So next time you see an athlete with his headphones in, you'll know that it is not just about the music, but about the memory associated with it. For Cronkite Sports, I'm Nick White.